welcome back guys my project today is I'm gonna be doing um, refreshing up a, a picture frame that was broken and it's really a good piece of wood that it's made of it's really old so I'm gonna be painting it sanding painting dust it off and add a chicken wire chicken wire which is this chicken wire um, to the back of the frame so you can use it for family pictures office or just to pin reminder notes on it um, I'm gonna be doing two one with a picture frame so this is the chicken wire you can get it at Home Depot or the Lowe's or any hardware store that's near you and you can paint the picture frame with any color and as you see it's really old and it's wood and it already has the picture um, hang wire in the back of the frame so I'm gonna slightly sand it prep it and then paint it and then add the chicken wire in the back um, ground of the frame so we can pin up pictures or whatever you want to put up there pictures or memos or for your office also I'm gonna also do another one this is the frame for a dresser mirror that was broken and as you see it's pretty big and it has wood so I can attach the chicken wire in the background and I'm gonna be removing these little things that it has on there and then paint it and make it nice and it can be a memo um, pin up you know board or like I said you can add pictures or whatever you want to do on it but I'll show you later how that's done um, so those are the two things I'm gonna do for my next project and I'll show you how first I'm gonna start sanding Okay, so I'm painting it browns, as this is the color. It looks brown, but when it dries, it gives that metallic look. So I've started a piece already, and it's already, you know, it, this paint dries so fast. Okay guys, so now I've cut the um, chicken wire, I pre-cut the chicken wire and I use a scissors from home, I don't have a wire cutter. And I'm folding the, the little wires that are sharp towards the wood so no one gets pinched with it. So, so I'm going to staple gun it so they stay in place. Okay guys, this is the end result of my do-it-yourself chicken wire frame and I did um, use cop metallic copper paint for this wooden frame and then I put the um, chicken wire for the background and used um, some strings and some clothespins to hold pictures or memos or greeting cards or whatever have you to put on there so again it wasn't a difficult do-it-yourself activity 
and you can choose whatever color you want or put on there you can put pictures like I said and this is it so thank you for watching remember to click the like button or subscribe to my channel thank you and I'll show you how to do the other one that I haven't painted yet which was the um, dresser where the mirror broke but um I'm gonna paint that today welcome back this is the dresser frame that the mirror was taken off and I'm gonna use the same steps as I did with the um, picture frame that I used a chicken wire for the background and also some string and some clothespins to, to pin up pictures or memos and you can use it anywhere your office your home decor so today I chose the silver paint that I'm gonna be using today um, to, to um, paint the frame Okay guys, so now I'm finished painting it silver. Now I'm gonna let it dry. When I come back, I'll put the chicken wire in the background. The next step is I'm going to put some of these um, baby mini little clothespins and it depends what size you want. For now I only have these so to give you the idea what to do I'm going to use these um, kind of string. It's like a burlap string and I'm going to tie it across here so you can hang your um, pictures or cards or whatever you want to put. So I, so I came up with this idea. I'm going to be cutting out these words. Each day I write the story of my life. And I'm going to paste it at the bottom. And seal it. Okay guys. So this is the end of the project. I finished both of them with the chicken wire background. And again like I said. You can use it for jewelry. You can use it for greeting cards. For pictures of the family. You can take it to your office and use it for reminders, note reminders. Um, it's all finished. One of them I have each day I write the story of my life. And I sealed it. Um, so it's done. That's the project for, for the um, chicken wire do-it-yourself project. And again, if you haven't um, seen any of, any of my videos, you can subscribe and click the like button thank you for watching and hope all your do-it-yourself activities come out beautiful thank you for watching